What's up guys, this is Gage Harper, and I'm doing another fight breakdown on my second amateur fight. Uh, we're here in San Antonio right now. Um, I had to travel about two and a half hours from Houston. Um, took this fight on like, I want to say like three week notice or something like that. Um, but yeah, man, I had like a lot of, I don't really get nervous before fights. I've really never been ner uh, nervous at all, like a, ner like a nervous feeling in my stomach, but I do like... I have to pee a lot, which is, which is funny, like, I just always have to pee a lot, so the state commissioner will always have to come in the bathroom with me, and he has to go with me, like, five or six times before I go out and fight, so I'm warming up on the pads, everything's good, and as soon as the state commission comes and gets me, they're like, okay, uh, you're ready, you ready to fight, so I go out there, and you saw where I had to walk down those steps, I'm standing on top of the railing, I'm looking at the crowd, and I'm just thinking to myself, man, I can't lose. I'm already 0-1. I can't be 0-2. I can't lose. I'm, I'm scared to lose. Do I want to fight? I'm just thinking a bunch of crazy stuff in my head before I go out there. And as soon as he said, the announcer said my name, you know, I put on Grove Street Party. And I started walking out crunk. But here's the tail of the tape. Um, it was a 123-pound catch weight. And so I had to, that, that night in the hotel... I was like 125, and I just had to cut the rest in the in the hot the hot bath, man. That was a toll on my body. So I got down to 122.8, and you see me here. I'm dancing. I'm all crunk in the cage. I'm getting lit. You know, I'm ready to fight. That's just how I get ready. But um, this kid was experienced, real real experience. He was a purple belt in jujitsu, 20 or 21 years old, purple belt. And been training since he was like 10 or 11 years old in MMA and other like combat sports, jujitsu, boxing. Um, but yeah, he was definitely, I was definitely way bigger than him. I, I talked to him. He tells me he walks at like 120 pounds. So that's why we had to get the catch weight. So I was definitely way bigger than him. Like you could see compared when we, when we start fighting, you could see I'm just way bigger. Even here now, you see me, I'm just way bigger compared to him. And I just menacing stare down right here. I don't know. I was in the zone. I probably was taking it too serious. I don't know. But um, we're about to start action. Get right in. Let's get it. Pull up the shorts real quick. I'm ready. I'm ready. Come out. Touch gloves right here, and instantly he's come out fire with these kicks. Bank, bank, bank. I get clocked like two or three times. I get rocked, so I start grappling. I'm like, oh shit, I'm I, I gotta, I gotta grab him because I was rocked. And so he puts me on the cage right here, and he, uh, he tries to go for a trip, and I don't know. I think I was going for trying to go for a guillotine or something, but I easily get back up to my my knees and I get put back on the cage. I stand back up, and I'm circling out. I'm like, all right, I need to do something. I need to do something. So push kick, and I'm backing up with the jab, and I throw it two straight down the middle, and I I catch him right here, inside leg kick. He comes in all crazy, and I just take the back and I take him down. This is where I messed up in the fight. I get one hook in, and I jump up on his back and I try to get my second hook in. I don't even train in the gym, so I don't even know why I tried to attempt that. He, so he just throws me over his shoulder. Now I'm now I'm on the cage on my on my back, and he's in guard right here. So at this point, I'm like, I need to stand up. I can't be on the ground with this guy, and so I'm trying to stand up right here, get better position. And so right here, I, I start going for a I push his head down. I go for a ninja choke. I'm like, dude, it's there. The ninja's there. So if my legs were in a better position, I think I could have finished this right here. But it, this right here, I feel like I think it was deep on him. So it, it gave me a little bit of positioning to stand back up. So you can see he's trying to like uh, release some of the pressure off the choke. But this lets me stand up a little bit. But my feet were too close together, so he just takes me down right again. And now I know to never ever give up my back, never turn away, always turn turn into him. So I give him my back right here. He only got one hook in, so I should have been on my toes and just shake him off. Should have been on my toes right here instead of my knees and just shake him off. 
but he, the choke was in with uh, both arms, but he was falling off, and I turned to my side, and then, then uh, we're both on our backs, and at this point, the choke was deep. I'm just trying to fight the hands, and I just couldn't do it, so I had to tap, and instantly you see me get up, and I'm, I'm cussing up a storm. I was mad. Super disappointed in myself, but uh, this kid, Joe Perez, he's very humble. He just fought a couple weekends ago, improving his record to 3-1. Three and one. Three uh, finished victories by submission, uh, number nine in Texas. I'm pretty sure I, if I remember, it's number nine. But they were trying to give me a stool right here, and I was like, man, F that stool. I don't want no stool. I was just so damn disappointed. I hate losing, man, but it's the fight game. It Stuff happens. But here I get my takedown, and I should have went for, like, a cowboy trip or the broomstick trip. Um, but there were so many different things I could have done right there, which kind of altered the whole fight, which kind of sucks. But, um, you know, you live and you learn. It was my second appearance. So now I know my, my next two fights, you guys are going to see I'm way more comfortable in the cage and everything. But um, him and his team were very uh, real humble, cool people. But, yeah, this is um, this was my second amateur fight. And I'll be coming out more videos on my uh, my fight breakdowns. Gage Harper signing out.